Hi guys, what's up? My name is Goran Lundqvist, aka The Witch Doctor, and today I'm just going to show you a quick tip about some new feature in the New York release for ServiceNow. So if you're not on the New York, or when it will be released this week, or not this week, it's Sunday, but next week, uh, upgrade and you will have it. So, multi-row variable sets. For those who haven't seen it, it came with hmm, London, I think. Yeah, I think it was London. Uh, it was a real nice new feature that we, we were waiting for. And like everything new, of course, they will expand the functionality in the upcoming releases. And now New York is here and we have multiple stuff. But one of the stuff is really nice and it's about the uh, amount of rows. So let's just dive in. I've actually just built a catalog item. And as you might notice, when you hit new, you can decide you want to have the, the normal, or not normal perhaps, but the old variable set that looks just like normal variables, or do you want to have the multi-row variable set instead, where you can actually add line after line after line. And let's go back and take a look at the catalog item. Hold on, that was something new. Huh, I saw something new. Well, not that one. If I click on new, huh, I got edit interceptor. Let's go back to that one later on. So, catalog item, I'll hit try it. I have two variable, multi-row variable sets. The limit is the sky and uh, no, 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 no. If you're old enough to me, you know which one that is. Otherwise, I'll stop singing anyway. Uh, but from here, I can add how many rows I want. Or at least the system properly says 50, as you can see. So 50 rows, but the top one I can click and write something. Yeah, it's still a string, but as you can see, you can it says you can only add two rows. So after I added the, the second one, add is grayed out, uh, which is kind of weird in one way, but I would like to have that uh, hint pop up now as well because the user might not have seen it and now like okay why can't i add another one and there's no message coming up but if i remove one it's back so it would be nice to, to give some kind of message that you reach the limit i guess so this is a really nice feature and it's really simple uh, let's go to the catalog item scroll down to the one that has it and you can see you have a field called variable set attributes and you have an attribute called max rows and equals two you just define which number you want and that will be the max row yeah, I, I just glanced through the documentation i can't really find more attributes at the moment but since they have a whole field i'm hoping we have more to come for that one uh, that was supposed to be the only thing with my video, but now I saw the edit interceptor. Let me just test something here. Well, not like that. I don't get the interceptor. Let's do like it. Articles. Hold on. Why? Ah, I haven't activated that one. Uh, let's go for change instead. Create a change. Edit interceptor. I, I can honestly say that I have no clue if this is a New York release or not. I think it is because otherwise I would have recognized or seen it, I think. But that's a nice feature as well. If you get to an interceptor, you can actually quickly edit it. Uh, and the last one, which popped up through actually on LinkedIn, I don't remember your name, but I just saw that someone else posted about it. Uh, I'm just trying to remember the name now so I can do a shout out but let me just two seconds see if we can find a guy I'm not first 
with everything and and of course it's pretty much like facebook i guess you scroll down and you don't have the same look as earlier anyway i think well you're not supposed to just see me watch scroll to linkedin so never mind last part is about impersonate i impersonate bet and earlier you had to go impersonate again and select yourself now we finally have an end impersonation that you just can click and you're back on track so that is it for me right now hopefully i'll throw in a little bit more of these small videos just to show some new features in new york instead of having one long video that i never get time to make instead so three things one the multiple variable set you have variables now or attribute you can set max rows and uh, two the edit interceptor which was a, a nice feature as well just all i like those shortcuts where you don't need to have to go to find and type in interceptor and three impersonation you can have end impersonation now as well which is really cool as well so thanks a lot for watching and see you around if i can find a stop record